Julie, that's enough. You have two in there already. All that chocolate isn't good for you. Three's okay, I think. right, Julie. Now please put Petey back in the terrarium and see that he stays there. All right, Daddy. You never should have given it to her in the first place. What kind of a pet is that for a young girl anyway? Well, calm down, Irene. The snake is harmless. Calm down. Sure it's harmless, see? terrified I am of that thing. Irene, it was an accident. You're always defending her. And I'm always in the wrong. I didn't say that, Irene. I didn't say that. Now look, why don't you just let that be? Just let it be. Julie will clean it up. I won't live in a filthy house. Besides, since when does Julie do anything around here? She has absolutely no consideration for me. She's just at a very difficult age, that's all. Oh, and that excuses everything. No, no, it doesn't excuse anything. It's just a consideration, that's all. Now look, Irene, can't a day go by without an argument? Do you think I enjoy it any more than you? Uh, we, we, we can't continue like this, Irene. We have to resolve our situation somehow. Consider what we're doing to Julie. I am, Harold. That's why I wish you would agree to send her to Merriweather next semester. D don't you think she's a little too young for boarding school? She's just the right age. She needs to begin acting like a young lady. She needs to become more social and start making friends, instead of staying up in her room like a hermit. Yeah, it might be good for her. This isn't exactly the best environment. Is it my fault? Why don't we discuss it later when we've all calmed down, okay? We were happy together once. And we can be again, if we both try. I'll get it. Dr. Wilder. Hi, Michelle. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. Is Julie home? Yep. She's up in her room. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Yes? Hi, Julie. Hi. I brought your sweater back. Thanks. Now listen, Julie. You're just gonna freak when you hear this. Guess he's got a crush on you. Tommy Shaw. It's true, Julie. 
Tommy told his best friend Larry, and he told Kathy, and Kathy told me. Tommy Shaw is so cute. I'd give anything if he'd like me. Kathy said they'd all be at the roller rink tomorrow morning. I'm going hunting with my father. You'd rather do that instead of being with Tommy Shaw? I mean, you can be with your father any time. I almost forgot to give Petey his breakfast. Want to watch? Ooh, uh, it's alive? You're going to feed it to him when it's alive? Well, he won't eat anything dead. It's really neat how he dislocates his jaw to swallow. Then he swells up like a big balloon, and you can see the rats squirming around inside him. And then, after a couple of days, it's completely dissolved. Then he barfs, and nothing but bones come out. Julie, I gotta go home. Bye. Good shot, Julie. Let's go get him. Yeah. Daddy. Yeah? You love me. Of course I love you. What kind of a question is that, huh? Then why do you want to send me to boarding school? Well, Julie, your, your mother and I only want what's best for you, darling. But I want to be with you. We're not going to abandon you. We'll visit you every weekend that we can. And you'll come home on holidays. You know, being away from home just may not be as bad as you think. New surroundings, new friends. All right, look, you can try it for one semester. And if you don't like it, we'll see what can be done. It's because Mommy and you aren't happy together, isn't it? We're not unhappy. I've heard you arguing. Well, Julie, sometimes arguments are a part of marriages. Daddy, hmm. I never want to get married. I just always want to be with you. <laughs> you know, that's just about the nicest compliment I've had in ages. I'm just filling in. You just set it down over there. That's fine. Thank you. My pleasure. Is there uh, anything else I can do for you? As a matter of fact, there is something. Last week, Tony brought a case of the regular Pepsi instead of the diet. Would you exchange it for me? Sure thing. But, uh... You don't look like you got to worry about your figure. Well, dieting is what keeps a woman's figure. Oh, yeah? Excuse me. Yeah, I just want to check. I wonder, would you do me a favor? Just name it, you got it. Let me show you. Nice place you got here. Thank you. Yeah, real nice. This way. My daughter's room. 
Are you afraid of snakes? No, why? Would you mind taking it out somewhere and turning it loose? No problem. Okay. Right to bed. Come on, honey, just a few more steps in the air. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. Good night, Julie. Sleep tight, hon. Sit down for a second, Daddy. Mm-hmm. What is it, hon? Tomorrow's a school holiday. Can I come to the office? I'm sorry, Julie, but I'm going to be at the hospital all day tomorrow. Then I can watch you operate. Oh, no. Perhaps when you're older. But I'm old enough already. Well, I tell you what, Julie. Later, if you still plan to be a doctor, I promise you can watch me operate, okay? Okay. But how can I watch you operate if I'm away at boarding school? You, you might not be in boarding school by then. You mean I won't have to go at all? Well, we still have plenty of time to think about that. Right now, it's time for all future doctors to be in bed asleep. Good night, Julie, darling. Pleasant dreams. Good night. Daddy? I love you. I love you too, honey. And remember your other promise to me. What? As soon as vacation starts, we're going up to the country house. Just you and me. That's right. Just the two of us. Now you close your eyes and go to sleep, young lady. someone take him away. You had no right. He was mine and Daddy gave him to me. Your father knows what I've done. I told him this morning. Besides, when you're at Merriweather, there'll be no one here to feed him. You're the one that hates me. You're the one that wants to send me to boarding school. You can't wait till I'm gone. Julie, that isn't true. Liar! I hate you and I'll never forgive you. Julie! offer you a cup of coffee. Sounds great. I only have instant. Do you mind? Not at all. Let me get that for you. Thank you. Uh, 
How did your daughter take it yesterday? Shook it off. There you go. I like your leather gloves. Most women think they're sexy. Feels good, eh? Don't! Come on, I know why you took me up to that bedroom. That wasn't it at all. I think you better go. Hey, cut out the crap. You want me, you know it and I know it.
Julie, can you remember anything else that might help us? Like I told you, it all happened so fast. I heard noises downstairs, so I got my gun. And when I came out, he was gone. And then I looked downstairs and I saw mommy lying there. I've been here for hours. Can't I take Julie home now, please? There is nothing more we can do anyway. If we come up with something, I'll get in touch with you. Sergeant Kirby will show you Thank out. You. Thank you very much, Lieutenant. Good night. Good night, Julie. One, two, and three. Here's your coffee, Daddy. Just the way you like it. Thanks. Can I get you anything else? No, thanks, Julie. Why don't you go to bed, honey? I'll be up in a little while. I just want to relax a bit, okay? All right, Daddy. Terrible has happened. Julie, I was just coming to tuck you in. Daddy, can I sleep with you tonight? Of course, my darling, of course. Come. Good night, Daddy. Good night, sweetheart.
You like it? It's beautiful. Let's go inside. occupancy next month. What? Oh, after we're married, of course. I... I don't know what to say. Say yes. Shouldn't we wait? We've waited long enough. Julie needs a mother, Dennis needs a father, and Susan most of all. I need you. Harold. Settled? I love you. After Jack's death, I never thought I could love so strongly again. Oh, Susan. Oh, Susan. Susan, for over three years, Irene and I were married in name only. Ever since I met you, your love has been all that... all that's made my life bearable. Do you know that? Harold, I want to marry you. Very much. But don't you think we should wait a while? You have Julie to think of. She doesn't even know about us. Susan, Susan, we, we can't live solely for our children. We love them. We have our own wants and desires. I've thought about us constantly these past few days. I, it'll be fine, honey. I know it will. Yes, but... Shh. Now listen. I'm taking Julie out of school for a while. We're going out to our country house. The change will do her good. Now, why don't you and Dennis come up for a weekend? Just for one weekend. It'll be fine. It'll be a great opportunity for you and Julie to get acquainted. You'll just love each other. I know you will. All right. We'll see how it works out. Are you letting me win, or are you just not paying any attention? Hmm? Now, Julie, you're going to like them. Susan's a wonderful girl, and she's a great chess player. And as for Dennis, I can tell you that he is one of the most... See, Julie? It looks like Mr. Johnson's boat bringing them in. There they are. Come on, you'll see what I mean. Come on, Julie. You put on your warm jacket, and you meet us down at the pier, okay? It's all right, Dennis. I've got it. Where's Julie? Uh, I don't know. She... she must still be in the house. She's a little shy whenever she meets people for the first time. Hey, Julie! Come and meet everyone. Hi, Julie. I'm Susan. And this is Dennis. Hi, Julie. Hey, what kind of hello is that? Huh? I brought these for you. I hope you like daisies. Thanks. 
I can't wait to see the house. Oh, we'll give you the complete tour. But first, why don't we uh, all have something to drink, okay? Yeah, okay. Dr. Pepper, I'm a pepper. Yeah, you're a pepper, all right. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. Mmm, like, I tell you, that was a wonderful meal. Just wonderful. Right, Julie? Hmm? I've been told by your father you're a very good cook yourself, Julie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 oh. Looks like it's past his bedtime. <laughs> yeah, he's had a long day. I'll put him to bed. Come on, little fella. Come on, let's go. Up you go. It's Betty time. Come on. Oh, that's a good guy. Okay. Julie, I know how you must feel. Look, I don't want to take your mother's place. I know I could never do that. I just want us to be friends. Is that possible? Please, at least give me a chance. Good night. Good night. Pick <laughs> Pleasant dreams.
Oh, Susan, baby. Oh, baby. Will you look at them? Yeah, if you would have told me yesterday this would have happened, I would have never believed it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's almost like they're really brother and sister. You know, it takes Julie a little while to warm up to people, but once she does, she can be very sweet. <laughs> she certainly can. You, you win! You win, Dad! <laughs> you two certainly seem to be enjoying yourselves. as a compliment. I know. Come on, Julie. Let's play some more. She wants to rest, dear. I'm fine. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you know, I was thinking, since the kids are getting on so well, why don't we take a little trip into town? Mm -hmm. Just take a couple of hours. and robbers anymore. I want to play in the sand. Fred. Hi there, Dr. Wiley. Watch your step. Here we go, Susan. Alley up. Thanks, Fred. We won't be very long. See you later. The town square is up this way. Why don't we take a look around there first? Okay, sounds great. Aren't you tired of playing by yourself? Yuck. 
Kind of. Why don't we play hide and seek? Yeah, but you be it. All right, I'll count to ten. Yeah, but no fear of peeking. I won't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Hi, Julie. Hi, hon. Where's your little brother? You mean Dennis? Uh-huh. Uh, we were just playing hide-and-go-seek. I was just about to look for him. Well, call off your game for now. Okay. We have an important announcement to make. Dennis! The game is over! Come on out! Dennis! Your mom's back! Dennis! Stop hiding and come out, dear! He must want us to look for him. Dennis? I wonder where he is. I don't know. He must have found a good hiding place. Well, why don't we all play hide and seek? <laughs> I wouldn't be a bit surprised if he's in the boathouse. Oh, my God. No. Dennis. Oh, no. Oh, no, please, Harold. It's, it's all right. It's all right. Dennis. 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 <laughs> Breathe. Good, good boy. Good, Dennis, good. He's going to be fine, Susan. He's going to be just fine. My poor baby. Daddy, what was it you wanted to tell us? Huh? Well, when you came, you said you had an important announcement. Susan and I were married this afternoon. How are you feeling? Fine. You must have been terribly frightened locked up in that refrigerator. Oh, I wasn't. Oh. Well, then you're a very brave little guy. Dennis, promise me you'll never do that again. I promise. Tell me, how did you manage to close the door? I didn't close the door. You mean... Hi. I just came in to see how Dennis was doing. How are you doing, Dennis? Fine. That's good. Well, good night, Dennis. Night. Tell me, Dennis, how did the door get closed? Please, darling, tell me. I don't know. 
All right. Good night, sweetheart. Sleep tight. Good night. Where's your father? I think he's in the study. Playing against yourself? Yeah. I've been wanting to have a little talk with you. Oh, yeah? This concerns your father. We both want what's good for him, don't we? When you're a little older, you'll understand these things better. But when a man loves a woman, he'll do almost everything he can to make her happy. But isn't Daddy making you happy? Oh, yes, we're very happy. And I'm not going to let anyone spoil that happiness, or the happiness or safety of my child. But who would want that? Let's say someone who has an overly possessive kind of love. A mother loves very strongly, too. And she will stop at nothing to protect her child. Aren't you going to move? Checkmate. Very clever. Well, thanks for the game anyway. How's it going? Buzz off, turkey. We're not working tonight. Mm. I guess your friend isn't very friendly. I guess you're not her type. Coming up, sir. Since when are hookers so choosy? Since jerks like you started sniffing around. Ooh. I got an idea. Why don't you two screw yourselves? Sounds like fun, eh? Yeah. Come on, let's go. There's no action here. Do you see what I see? Now well, that's my type. What do you think? It doesn't look too friendly. Friendly ones don't turn me on. So what do you want to do? I think I'll stay for a while. All right. Well, I guess I might as well not make the evening a total loss. No, no, it's okay. I'll oh, get thanks. It. Okay, Shirley. See you tomorrow. Bye bye, sweetheart. Good luck. Thanks. I changed my mind. You still want to play? Yeah. Okay. Here you go, Jack. Keep the change. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Woo! Uh, uh, uh. Playing hard to get, huh? How about another drink? Hey, Gus, uh, why don't you bring this man another beer and a tequila sunrise for me? It's on the way, Cheryl. My name's Shirley.
Here you go, Cheryl. Thanks, Cheryl. I like your looks. Evening, Gus. Hi, Gus. Hi, guys. The usual? Yeah, yeah. Mighty cold outside. <laughs> You're telling me. Wish I was in Florida. I'll go for that. You're not too bad yourself. Thanks. You feel like doing something? What you got in mind? We could get a All right, fellas, here you go. Money. Thanks. Oh, thanks. If you're worried about the money, don't. It's on me. Let's go. Bye, guys. See you, Cheryl. <laughs> you're here. I need your help. Will you hold the ladder for me, please, while I put this up? I don't like the picture. Well, you'll learn to like it. What is Dennis coming back from his grandmother's? He'll be staying there for a while. Hi, Mrs. Wilding. Oh, hi, Michelle. I like your hair like that. Thank you. You look sweet. <laughs> Come on, Michelle. Let's go do our homework. Okay. All right, Johnson. Got you, Lieutenant. Uh. Get Wilding on the phone for me, please. Okay, Lieutenant. I think he must be in his office. All right. Hello there, little fella. How you doing today? Hello? Mm -hmm. One moment, please. Doctor, there's a call for you on line two. It's a Lieutenant Rossmore. I'll take you to my office. Lieutenant Rosmore. Yes, Lieutenant. What is it? Did you find out anything? As a matter of fact, we have found someone we consider a fairly good suspect. I'd like to have Julie come down and see if she can identify him.
Do any of them look like they might be the man? I don't see him. Look again. Take your time. No. None of them. I'm positive. All right, Sergeant Crane. You can take him out now. All right, guys, let's go. Bye, Daddy. See you this evening, then. Bye. I didn't have anything to do with it. Don't work too hard, Lieutenant. I get out of here.
Yeah, who is this? You don't know me, but I know you. You killed my mother. I think you got the wrong number. I saw you do it. Hang up on me and I'll go straight to the police. I don't know what you're talking about. I think you're crazy as shit. I was standing at the top of the stairs. I saw the whole thing. Look, um, why don't we meet and talk this over? I, I think you got me mixed up with... Meet me at the shopping center at 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And if you're not there, if you try to leave town, I'll go straight to the police. Hello? Hello? Hello, Michelle? This is Julie. Can you come over to my place tomorrow afternoon? My parents will be gone. Great. Bye. Welcome to East Side Shopping Mall. Special of the day in Junior Sportswear, third floor. Happy shopping. Yeah, it's me. But don't think you can trick me just because I'm a girl. What do you want? Before I tell you, I want you to know that I wrote a letter to the police that says you killed my mother. And if you do anything to me, the police will find it. Just tell me what you want. I want you to kill my stepmother. <sighs> You're out of your mind. If you don't do it, I'll tell the police. What the hell do you take me for? I'll pay you for it. And you can rape her all you want before you kill her. You're sick. Are you going to do it? Or do I have to go to the police? What kind of money are we talking about? Lots of money. And there are jewels in the safe, too. And I have the combination. But what is the combination? Well, you don't think I'm going to give it to you now. I'll leave the safe open. Got it all figured out already, huh? Yes, I have. So are you going to do it? What do you want me to do? Well, tonight my stepmother is teaching me night class. She'll be back at 9. My stepbrother's at his grandmother's, and my father has a meeting to go to. So he won't be back till late. I'll leave the key under the side entrance doormat for you to get in. So all you have to do is wait for my stepmother, kill her, take the jewels, the money, and run away. Where are you going to be all this time? I'll be at my friends. Don't worry, there'll be nobody in the house but you. It's real easy. Yeah. It's real easy. Now all I gotta know is where the safe is. It's in my father's study behind the medical chart. Do you need to know anything else? Okay. I've gotta go home now and study. I'll call you at five this afternoon to let you know if everything's okay. What about the letter? I'll leave it in the safe. Okay. And mister, don't try anything. I tell you, you don't look too bad yourself. Hello? It's me. 
My parents are leaving now. I'll put the key under the doormat. I'll be leaving the house right after my parents. Okay? I wish you didn't have that presentation to give. My class is getting out early, and I could be home about eight. I tell you what, I'll try to sneak home early after I've given my lecture. Mm. Okay? That would be great. <laughs> well, we better go now. Well, we may never go at all. Where are the girls? Julie's room. Julie, we're leaving now. Okay. Tell Michelle I can give her a ride home when I get back. Oh, thanks anyway, but I have to be going pretty soon. All right, then. Bye, Michelle. Bye. Bye, Julie. Bye, girls. Goodbye. is really neat. I'm having lots of fun, Michelle. But I just remembered, I have to study for a test tomorrow. You mean right now? Mm-hmm. My parents will kill me if I fail it. I know what you mean. Mine scream when I get bad grades. I hate getting screamed at. Well, why don't you wear my coat home? Oh, you really mean it? Mm-hmm. And here are my hat and gloves. It's really cold outside. Oh, thanks. Okay, then I'll go now and let you study. Uh-huh, but would you put this key under the side doormat for me? It's for Susan. Sure. Bye. Bye.
Julie? Michelle? Julie? Hello? 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 Why no, Mrs. McCreedon? I don't think Michelle is here. I just got home myself and all the lights were out. Julie should either be asleep or she's walking Michelle home. But I'll check and I'll call you right back, okay? Goodbye. <laughs> saw my face. Because now I gotta kill you like your stepdaughter wanted. Don't get near me. Is she dead? She's over there. See her, you bloodthirsty little bitch! There! Take a good look!
Now you can die happy. Before I kill you. Saved my life. Thank <laughs> you. 